Aloha, this is Sky with FNN, Feminist News Network, Feminist News that's right for you, coming from the studio. Thanks for joining me today, and I appreciate you subscribing. We're growing strong. All right. Now, what do I want to talk to you about today? Some messiness. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. This Cat Williams incident. That's what I want to talk about. Talking about Tiffany Haddish. Now, he said on the Atlanta Morning Show what he needed to say. He still got his Emmy. And he was still was able to get out of gunshots. He was still able to dance around TMZ. And Tiffany Haddish has also said there isn't an issue. There isn't a problem. How did it straighten up? How did it become all right? Did you pay attention to the TMZ? Let's take a look and let's go there. There were some pictures, you know, uh, up on the internet showed you and Tiffany kind of look like you squashed your beef backstage there at the Emmys. And I never had any beef. Was that just part of your bit? Was well, it not a personal thing? You're kind of... You kind of tore into her, you tore into some other comedians during that that uh, radio show. Was that from the heart, or were you kind of just just being funny, being you, getting getting your expression out? I was really just sorry that I... Uh mentioned Wanda Sykes or Tiffany's name. I was um, in a conversation with a non-female comedian about female comedians. That was a no-no. So I've been chastised enough by Wanda Sykes and uh, others to see the error of my love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you're a better man for it? I was a better man to begin with. Oh. Oh, yeah. Tiffany, how did Wanda help you guys get resolved? Uh, how did our cat resolve things with you? It never was a problem, sir. Tiffany, I'm okay. a big right. friend. You are doing some of It never a problem, sir. Okay, no, thank you. You heard that. Mm-hmm. Now, this is why Wanda called. And you think she didn't set his ass straight as being the senior comedian in the crew that he was talking about? Now, Kevin Hart said what he wanted to say, and he can call his Tiffany baby girl all he wants to while he's making money doing films with her. But Wanda isn't. Wanda was the one that really had something to say. Tiffany is Tiffany. we got to admit to it. She popped out of nowhere. I don't care if she's been working here for 20 years, but that's how it, the industry does. You can work in the industry 10, 15, 20 years and then become an overnight sensation. That how, that's how it is. That's how it always been. And if you touch the right person, you can even get in a little quicker. And we know that to be true also. Now, I've gone on these Hollywood casting calls, as they say, looking for the Miss or Mr. Right. You say your name, your number, your age. You turn around and walk off. Okay, I did this in my 20s, not now. All right. And believe me, it's a tough world out there. And when we're calling each other out, when we should be grateful to get any job and get ahead, and after all this man's been through with his children and the police and everything else, he needs to cut it out. I know Wanda told him how it was and told him to stop acting a fool and learn that we as a minority within the industry needs to stand up for one another and not put each other down. Now, I'm not talking about Harriet Tubman, because that's a whole nother issue. 
But when we're all DOS in the industry, you know you need to be standing up for each other. I don't care how many white boys that girl's been with. I don't care how many French women Wanda Sykes marries. She is in the industry just like him. And everybody in that industry, though they are rich, are struggling to keep it. Monique admitted. She only got $50,000 for doing that movie that she won an Oscar for. Shameful. And you go to Netflix. Oh, somebody's ready to get a Netflix special that's a woman. But I still don't see Wanda Sykes or Medea up there. Hello? I don't know what Obama and Michelle's going to do. But I don't see the ones you want to see. That's why I turned off Netflix. I got tired of watching all those Nigerian movies. There wasn't enough black movies on there that were DOS black movies that I could relate to. All they had was a bunch of religious Christmas movies. How many of those can you watch during the summer? None. I didn't. Now, if you agree that Wanda Sykes settled this situation by setting him straight because he said it. And you know it. Good for you, Wanda. That's how you need to do. Keep them in line. Because you know what time it is. Mm-hmm. And if you agree, contact me at FeministNewsIn at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out and like my Facebook page, Feminist News Network. And, oh, yeah, on my Feminist News Network Facebook page, I always try to put a soulful, sassy, feminist video up there. And sometimes it's very poignant and talks about what's going on today. All right. Now, check out my YouTube. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel. I got exclusive videos on my Feminist News Network YouTube channel. All right, so remember to push for 50 is coming. More than likely, you'll see Wacky Key Tattoo Confessions. 72 hours, subscribers only. Give to 50, we can watch it this weekend. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. And thanks for letting me get this out because I've been reading all the videos about it and this needs to happen. Peace.